What is it, Stubbies? There are squirrels out there. You want to go get the squirrels? You want to go get them? Okay. Okay, hold on. Stubbs does not like it whenever the squirrels come out here and start eating the sunflower seeds and he begs to be out so he can chase them. But most of the time they hear the door opening and they take off. Um, so there's, there's really no worry of him catching them. But it's a really kind of nasty weather day here. We had some freezing rain and sleet and snow mixture, and there's ice. It's pretty nasty outside, but the birds are uh, really singing, and I'm going to mix up some suet for them and put out so they have some more munchies. The ice is really hanging on the branches. It's pretty, pretty in the trees, but not so nice for driving on. All right, we're going to mix up some suet here for the birds because it's some nasty weather outside. It's very icy. Uh, we've noticed a lot of <clears throat> spring birds coming back. Uh, a couple days ago I heard a couple flocks of geese flying in and um, we've just been seeing bluebirds. Uh, the killdeers are back I saw. There's flocks of robins. Uh, there's been a number of birds that are coming back in the area so when we get weather like this kind of nasty. Um, it's good to put some suet out, but even all through the winter, I put suet out, and uh, they really love it. The woodpeckers especially really hit it, and we have a lot of woodpeckers here. So, uh, what I'm going to do is, uh, the main thing that I use for this type of suet <clears throat> is some lard and peanut butter, and I've heated this to make it more liquid to get it out of the jar easier, um, and oatmeal. Uh, that is the main components that I use, but you can also go through, like I went through my cupboard and I had some old stale crackers that I'm going to crush up and put in this. And I have a bag here, this is straw, uh, dried strawberry pieces that I got bulk real cheap at um, a local store here. I'm going to add some of that into this as well. Um, crumbs, breadcrumbs, you name it. Any kind of thing like that you could put in here. Old stale bread you could uh, pull apart and add into this and stir it up. <clears throat> the Blue Jays really like it as well. And what else? Oh, um, nut hatches. Actually, I I think I've seen pretty much all the your typical... Um, songbirds that come into feeders uh, take in this suet. They all like it. So anyway, we're going to start with some oats. And there's no, again guys, I don't really measure. I pick, I just, I just mix it up until it looks the right consistency for me. And the birds are really not going to care too much. They're going to eat it. So we're going to do that. We're going to crush up these crackers and add into this. hear it raining. You can hear the rain on the roof. We have a tin roof. So, love listening to the rain on the roof. Alright, we're going to add some of this in here.
like that. Dump the crumbs out right here. I even have a couple breadcrumbs over here on my cutting board I'm going to throw in there. And mix this a little bit. And then we're going to dump this lard in here. And <clears throat> I'm going to put some peanut butter mixed into this as well. <clears throat> now we have a couple suet feeders that my husband made that have wire over the front that we can put this in, but I also just sprinkle some of it out over the top of a, a bench that I have out there on the porch you may have seen in the video. I just put my seeds out on that and I just sprinkle some of this on top of there too. I have bird feeders and I have um, put them out, but we have problems with the squirrels getting in them, chewing them off, knocking them down. So I just decided why bother with that? Just put it out on a bench, let everything get at it easily, and I don't have to worry about fixing or replacing bird feeders. It just works out better that way. And the birds don't care. They'll eat it, whether it's in a feeder or just laying out. So just works better that way. Just going to mix this up. I just want it to be kind of moist the whole way around. Have everything kind of be coated a little bit. I might just get in here with my hand because it works easier that way. Now this um, it's not really keeping a form right now because I have the lard heated, so it's kind of a liquid form. But as this cools, of course, the lard becomes more solidified, and so it will hold together better after it cools a bit. Yeah, that's pretty good. I do not need to. It's, it's mixing up pretty good. very simple and easy to do but the birds love it you could add raisins into this any number of things uh, nuts peanuts whatever any number of things that birds would normally eat I have gotten um, this packs of mealworms that you can get the packs of dried mealworms and put out but I have found that the birds actually like this better so if you guys have any um, special treats or things that you put out that you find that the birds really like share it guys let us know in the comments what you like to use because I love feeding the birds and I like trying new things. Okay. That's it. All I have to do is take this out and sprinkle it out there. On a day like today, they will probably be on it very quickly. Okay, guys, that's it. Simple, easy. That's all there is to it. Mm -hmm.